Okay, Gospel Guitarist here. I was just going to set up my pickups a little different on my Stratocaster because I've been playing with different ideas with pole pieces and I'm still learning more truths and myths and all that kind of thing. So what I have here is a Made Mexican Strat, Made Mexico Strat, and um, it had the pole pieces set to the radius of the neck. So they were kind of curved, you know, they weren't staggered, they were stair-stepped up and down. So it would follow a curve, the same the same radius as the neck had. And that, um, I thought I would flatten them all out and see if I like the sound of it flattened out. I don't, <laughs> no surprise, I don't know. Um, Half of the humbuckers are set up this way, you know. And so I figured, well, what's it sound like? I didn't know. You know, some people like this sound. Uh, a lot of players have had their poles placed flat. I don't care for it. It still makes sound. It's just, the, especially the fourth and fifth string to me are really, really weak um, and lack definition on these strings. So... I'm going to try using the staggered uh, pole, stepping the 6th, 5th, 4th, and 3rd up. So it's like going up the stairs. And then the second one I'm going to lead down. And then the uh, high E, I might bring it up a little bit. I believe that's kind of how they come from the Fender Factory. So I want to set that up. It's kind of a standard staggered pole piece setup. So... I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, as you can see, I've had it partially apart here. Um, I was going to try to move the pull pieces with the pickups in the guard, but um, if you, on these cheap pickups, they have the two magnets on the bottom, which you can break loose when you're doing stuff like this because um, the poles are between them and you can easily knock these guys off. Um, so anyway, uh, if, if you had a real vintage pickup, the windings are not going to be protected by these, um, I don't know what you call them, but um, they wrap, they put the, uh, their sleeves where these magnets go into, their plastic sleeves, they just slide in. And on a vintage pickup, they don't have those. So if you move these, on a vintage pickup, you could very well catch the wiring and damage your pickup permanently. So I don't suggest doing this on real vintage pickups. But on today's uh, bobbin, that's the word I'm looking for, these bobbins don't have just the top and the bottom. It's just kind of like one manufactured piece of plastic. So you just stick the magnets in there. And I guess they wrap the the coils first and then they just stick the magnets in but you can freely move these up and down just using a pair of needle nose um, pliers or what I'm going to try doing is using my little hex wrench here as a crowbar um, and you can't forget your orientation which is why I left this one in here and I left those in there so I don't go turning it upside down and doing weird things with the uh, orientation you want to keep the orientation where so you realize where the first string is and the sixth string is um, so I just put this this is my first time pushing them back up I pushed them down that was easy uh, with a pair of pliers you just squeeze and they go right down but now I want to push them back up so without hopefully breaking the uh, magnets off so and I keep this this isn't gonna stay on but I guess maybe I can try holding that on there um, I'm going to get the six pole just a hair above the plastic cover and then I'm just going to stair step them up, hopefully. <laughs> um, so I don't know if the camera's catching that or if you can see the angle on that. Um, this one is higher than this one now. And I just keep shifting this around. Hopefully the camera's up kind of give a good, good shot on that um, I'm just guessing at the height just trying to control the push 
so I don't go too crazy. There, that's all. Then I gotta keep checking the bobbin, of course. So, that one's up there pretty good. Probably should push the fifth one up a little bit more. I'm using these fingers to feel it move. And then I'm visually checking it very carefully to make sure they're actually decently stair-stepped. Um, because when you stair step them, apparently it's supposed to even out the strings on a strat as far as their output. And people argue about that all day long on the internet, of course. But I've messed with a lot of pickups, humbuckers, not a lot of single coils. So that's why I'm kind of doing this. <laughs> but um, oh, this one, this third one, don't want to go. There it goes. You gotta use force to get these guys to move, but they will move. And it doesn't, you don't want to force too hard because you can wind up overshooting your target. Okay, this, this wrench just barely fits in there. Okay, that looks about right. Now I'll bring up the E string a little bit because I notice on most of the stock pickups it's just a hair raised over the second string so yeah that looks just about right because i don't want it bright i don't need it bright it's already single coil um so i guess the second string gets to stay down a little bit so we'll that looks just about right these these third and fourth are almost even Third's a little hair higher, and they're stepped down. And we don't want the whoomph from the six string, so it's raised a little bit, but not very much. And okay, so I'm satisfied with that, and what I'm gonna do now is just put it back in the guitar. And uh, you just wanna be careful moving all the stuff around so you don't catch your wires and damage stuff. I'm kinda not Learn to be very careful when it comes to dealing with strap pick guards and that are still wired to the output jack. Um, I really, and on the back of my screws I have, I'm also an RC Nitro guy. And if you take the springs off and just cut a little piece of nitro fuel tubing um, and stick it over the screw. It's the same size and if you make them about a quarter inch like that, if you can see that in the camera, it works better than springs and it holds them nice and steady and tight in the pick guard. Um, I think that's an old trick but I think Fender does it stock now. I don't, I'm not real sure. I, I've seen it quite a bit so take my big screwdriver. Okay, so she's back in the pick guard. It's probably not high enough pick guard or high enough pick. Pick up is not high enough, so I'll probably raise that once I get it in the guitar. And this is what I wound up with the pole settings. So I'm going to try that and see how it sounds. I know it'll sound better than the flat version. So I'm going to do the rest of this guitar and see if I like it. And that's how it's done, folks. I hope you find the video helpful. Um, just be very careful when you do this. Because it's very easy to slip and damage something. So just cautious. Pay attention. Don't do it when you're tired. <laughs> make sure you've had your coffee. If you're a coffee drinker or whatever, just make sure you're awake and alert because one slip of the screwdriver and yeah be might be getting a new pickup <laughs> so okay thanks for watching i hope you have a good day and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i shall catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys